chanson, une chanson, une chanson, Le point de départ, justement, était euh, l'idée de Michel Bormans de euh, Bruxelles. Belgium, one point. Acceptons euh, la méthode de déconstruction de nos collègues euh, anglais. On a cru faire quelque chose euh, en prenant euh, cet ensemble de textes, euh, et différentes sortes de textes, textes vulgaires, textes poétiques, textes de Shakespeare, mais on ne savait pas d'où ça venait, on avait des vagues associations. On a pris euh, cet ensemble de sortes de textes euh, pour en construire, c'était notre idée, euh, une partition musicale. Michel a demandé à chaque école de envoyer un texte comme une possibilité de l'utiliser pour le séminaire. Et j'ai envoyé un texte que Elliot, qui est ici aussi, a utilisé pour les étudiants de secondaire à Guildhall. Il contenait des fragments de. The writers Samuel Beckett, Harold Pinter, Mark Ravenhill, Sarah Kane. So it was already a mixture of writers. And I thought that he was going to choose one of the writers, or propose that each group worked on one thing that he chose. So when I got here, I discovered that the students had made a mixture, not only of the writers, but even the you know, sentences. I was a bit taken aback because I thought it was hard enough anyway to make sense of these texts. But to have created something which initially seemed to me to make very little sense, or was hard to make sense of, I thought they'd made it harder for themselves to work on the text. Actually, I think I, um, I was wrong. Because when I saw the results today of all the different performances, I realized that, they, that once you realize these bits of fragments of fragments, a new sense is made. So in fact, it was very creative, and I was wrong in thinking it. I think I mentioned to you before, I was worried about it, but having seen the results, I wasn't. So I've learned something. Uh, one thing I learned is that, uh, one thing is this unconscious and non-concrete work of the actor and theater. And another one is the language on, on top of which you talk about it. Right. And, and our work was on language. Mm -hmm. and, and two languages. The language in general, and also French, Spanish, English, and, and all the languages that came to the Italian, everything we had to communicate. But it's about finding understanding for me, the perspective of the other. The, the way from where they look and to understand from where I look and how to un and then find a common language. I think that's the challenge. Men for sale. Oh, yeah. que cela peut bien vouloir dire? Men. Il a dit. So, um, swords, shapes and size for sale. Qu'est-ce que cela peut bien vouloir dire? It's an international congress. Got up for the entertainment and relief of lady members of the civil service. That's very kind of you. L'idea di Michel di uh, far sviluppare materiale drammaturgico direttamente agli allievi sicuramente il primo giorno è stata letta come un po' spiazzante, però in realtà secondo me è stata un'idea vincente perché eh, ha portato tutti quelli cosiddetti insegnanti a doversi assumere il, la funzione di eh, esploratori di qualcosa che non conoscevano prima davanti agli allievi. I think that the main point of this school of the school was just maybe forget this part and just to create directly something uh, because the role was defined for us as students and for you as teachers. So directly maybe it's an idea just forget the, the pedagogical thing and just directly mix with what you can bring to us and what us we can bring to you. Thanks. Every time you do that use a text and a contact and then you do a performance. So we cannot take talk about the text only, we have to take talk about the context. Then. I think every rehearsal room <laughs> always struggles with hierarchy because it is an artistic uh, dilemma to create leadership but also to create freedom. Uh, and we always have this uh, exciting but challenging uh, problem to negotiate. So, 
yes, perhaps it's exaggerated for us, but it's not a new challenge. C'est-à-dire que là, ce que j'ai vu, ce sur quoi j'ai essayé d'intervenir, en fait, c'est sur un travail complètement en cours, à un endroit effectivement où d'habitude les scénographes n'interviennent pas encore. Alors, c'est une chose absolument passionnante euh, de dire aussi euh, que, que j'ai trouvé euh, par moments très très effrayante. Uh, don't misunderstand me. The two last days I learned more than I don't know very long time. It's been very long time. About what? About all this. And mainly, I think about what is theater and what is acting. Which is which what has is what? what is theater yeah. and what is acting, yeah. and what is it being present, what is it being listening, and this has also been the topic we chose. And and I want to say, it's it's the danger of these kind of events. I think is that we are coming here and trying to find an agreement about what is theater and what is acting right away, and we try to find a way to work together as fast as possible, and boom, then we are producing something. I think that's extremely dangerous. No, I have. To again to, to sense uh, deeply, uh, you too, and also people from the school. They went from months to let that kind of things happen. It was very short, but it was my commitment from the uh, school. It was difficult to uh, take teachers out of courses and to send it in another place to, to do something that clearly nobody happened. Nobody are clearly, uh, in fact, to understand what's happened of this meeting. So you make from this meeting something, um, and it's love.